I just have a confession to make. Yes, me, one of your most... I will not say loved YouTubers, but someone that you trust on re in like one or two years time reviewing all the portfolio of Mifine. Yes, this is not the real unboxing. I've been fishing with this rod for like one month now when it arrived, but since I've fished and uh, not fished, I unbox everything on a batch. I was so eager to test this rod that I just took it out and then I just put it in again to do the unboxing with like a gazillion more products. So this was already taken out, but this time you can see in here the tags from Fuji and from Mifine Pro and they even sent a cool sticker. This sticker I nagged them for years by now to give them the sticker. But again, usual from me fine, you will have the square cardboard box with the long tube of bubble wrap. And in here you have the rod. This, is, this rod will be very hard to do on the table. I will try my best, but in here you can see my version. So this is the Mifine Microbyte aging 220 with a cast weight of 1.5 to 10 grams. Solid tip model. I don't know why it says solid tip model. Hopefully they will bring a hollow tip model for more of, I would say, bass fishing. But either way, nice sleeve. Again, from Mifine doesn't have any smell. Uh, and in here you have the model number, but all the details I will give them on the table or open close to this, I would say banger of the rod, because remember you can get it on choice promotions like 11.11 or Black Friday for around $50. And all of them will come standard with Fuji guides. See you guys on the table. So now that we are on the table, I have to tell you something. If you have been on the market for a spinning aging rod, you would come to the conclusion that on Aliexpress you have like two solid quality options, maybe three if you count the uh, Kuyong um, rods, but you actually have like the Tsurunoya Elf and the Pure Lure Zero. And they actually have the Zero but on casting. But on spinning you have like those two options as a go-to. Uh, this is coming to disrupt that because this rod costs half of them, half of what the other ones cost. So this will come at around $50 and the others just edge or are very close on promotion days to $100. So we will end up paying like 90 and this one on a promotion day will end up paying like 40. Again, uh, the real seat, I'm not a fan, but it works. Uh, I'm not a fan because it's personal preference. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Real seat, again, the lettering job and the fit and finish on the Mifine, it's, it's getting better and it was already very, very good. So I, I have found no defects on my, my model. And I will just give a quick run through the specs. I'm just counting the guide. So on this model, you have eight plus one. But since you have like five sizes of this rod, it will come from six plus one configurations to seven plus one to ending up on eight plus one like mine, depending on the size that you want. Talking about sizes, you can have it in a 168 uh, centimeter version, 180. Uh, 198, 210, and 220, like I have in here. So if you are on freedom units, that's 5, 6, 511, 6, 6, 6, 11, and 7, 3. And with the size changes, so the, if you order different lengths, you will have different uh, tip widths. So 
it goes from uh, 0.62 millimeters on the shorter version or 7.78 millimeters on the longer version like the one that I have in here. Uh, the weight also varies so it can go from 60 to 80 grams like you see on the scale over there. It's very fiddly to measure long rods on my small scale but it's on 80 grams or 2.1 or to 2.8 ounces. And the cast weight on these bad boys goes from 0 to 2 grams on the shorter version or 0 to 116 of an ounce. 1.5 grams to 10 grams on my version the bigger big daddy uh, that will come to like just shy of 3 eighths of an ounce again you will have the male insertion on the bottom uh, the female on top um, different constructions but i really like what the the connection that they have there it's very very solid a fly just passed by i'm still trying to have a measurement rods uh, not like reels will usually uh, weigh a little bit less than the manufacturer say like one to two grams uh, reels it's the other way around still messing with the weighting um, the construction and this rod is just perfect for the price point so you will get like a blend of carbon fiber cloth from 40 to 46 ton and i didn't tell you but this rod comes standard like the ghost blade with Fuji K guides with all uh, ring insertions and you can also get some DKK guides that are made from titanium and supposedly have some silica ring insertions on them which should last you a lifetime but even though this is a very very pretty rod uh, sorts of some Shimano Poison Adrena vibes on it um, it's very very good as I told you I've been fishing with it for one month as you can see in here and even though bass are nowhere to be found right now at least from the bank I have been having a blast with these guys and you know they are very very fiddly especially with longer rods but it has been a blast to catch them as you can see in here I'm using a 1 gram tungsten weight with a craw and a small 10 size EWG hook very very thin wired and I caught a bunch of these these guys over here now just taking some pictures probably I'll use it on the thumbnail, uh, thumbnail. even though this is an unboxing uh, I will have no problems using it because uh, I will be fishing this rod a lot on the sea season that is approaching on the winter in Portugal but until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!